Hey, what's up guys, it's Fontech over here with another video, and in this one guys I'm going to be comparing an iPhone 10 to an iPhone SE, both running iOS 11.2 this time, so stay tuned. First up guys, I'm going to be pulling up both devices here. So as always, iPhone 10 takes some time for the Apple logo to appear on it, but it's faster at the end. So let's see if any improvement on the iPhone SE side, because iPhone 11.2 was a major update for a lot of devices, which speed up almost every device out there. Except for the 10, I guess it's always it's always been fast, as well as the 8 and 8 Plus, because they were made for the iOS 11. Point, iOS 11. So yeah, the difference actually decreased. It's a, barely a second or two. So that's good there. Alright guys, so both devices have nothing right running in the background, and uh, so let's start with a key bench. For some reason, the iPhone SE is not responding. All right. So first up, Geekbench. A, I guess so. This phone has an A9 processor, clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. Uh, so it's slightly uh, less than the iPhone 6s, which has 1.85 gigahertz. But then it has two gigs of RAM. It has less pixels, of course. This phone has the A11 Bionic chip, hexa-core process, processor, 2.39 gigahertz, and about 3 gigs of RAM. So let's see. As always, as always guys, I'm just gonna skip through. Alright guys, so the iPhone 10 just finished. And the iPhone SE is just following behind, just with like 5 second difference, I think, or so. Yep. So, yeah. Scores are consistent on both. Uh, single core score of 4,228 on the, on the iPhone 10, whereas the iPhone SE has 2,538. Single core score has a difference there thanks to the you know, about chip, sorry guys, and the uh, hexa core processor. So we expect it to have three times the score it has at the single core. So uh, oh, roughly speaking here. And uh, so 10,477, where this has a dual core processor, so the difference just sort of double or a bit less. All right, guys, so I made sure everything's close in the background, both here. And let's go. So first up, Calendar slightly faster on the 10 shouldn't be the case usually because uh, stock apps are really fast as we saw with the iPhone 6 camera about the same so yeah this one is clearly better than the iPhone 6 with the A9 chip Safari then loading this scrolling down yeah both are perfect yeah, and main difference is the screen. As you can notice, guys, this phone is really small. Everything else it should be good. And this doesn't have 3D touch. Right, so next up, Apple Store. Yeah, slightly faster than the iPhone 10. That's a phone dialer. About exactly the same, I think. App Store. And yeah, about the same. And guys, uh, all the apps I'm going to be testing are, are up to date, so. All the updates in the App Store have nothing to do with the test. So next up, videos. Identical. Really good stuff on the SE. Um, iBooks. Alright, so uh, slightly faster, but I had the pop-up on the iPhone SE, so uh, I think it's the same. Health. About the same. iTunes Store. Yeah, so yeah, slightly slower, but really this phone is like three times cheaper and it's really neck and neck with the iPhone 10, which is this year's flagship. So as you can see from the A9 to the A11, there, there wasn't that much of innovation. And uh, so SE is still usable and one of the best phones out there. So home, slightly faster than the 10. Then comes the part where iPhone 10 should be better and to the benchmark. All right, so better than the 10, but I had a pop-up. I guess next up, weather app. I'd say identical there, amazing. Next up, let's go for games. Yeah, about the same. I thought I see did a great job there, actually, guys. Of course, guys, take into consideration this phone is really cheap compared to the iPhone 10. And uh, it's doing perfect. So it's a two year old device, at least a year and a half, but it has the A9 chip, so two year, two -year old uh, chip here. 
and it's still doing about the same same performance so amazing for anybody who, who likes this phone right so next up Google Earth yeah about the same I'd say again so the iPhone SE is perfect in every aspect 12 megapixel camera everything is good on this phone I guess the next up is Kim called Rush and I'd say it's okay the iPhone 10 was slightly faster yes but that's it slightly maybe a millisecond or so you won't feel the difference whatsoever I mean if you are not comparing these two phones and you're just using your SE as a daily driver and then you just upgrade to the 10 you won't feel a difference in speed of course you're gonna feel a difference with it <laughs> of course I mean the screen is really bigger and I feel the difference with the screen of course as well as the 3D touch um, dual, uh, dual uh, sensor camera as well as you know everything guys so the uh, iPhone 10 offers, offers a lot here but definitely not the speed next up fruit is lava I don't know why I'm saying fruit is lava it's like floor is lava sorry guys but just reading the game just beside it was the fruit is the fruit ninja or something so yeah thank you all right so uh, this one was slightly faster on the 10. It was actually faster. All right, guys, so I'm just going to test some multitasking here and see how the two gigs on the iPhone SE perform against the iPhone 10 calendar. Both did a great job. The iPhone 10 is kind of slippery, so it slides. Clock, both perfect. Camera as well. So the iPhone SE with two gigs of RAM is really a beast. Safari. Yep, great job. Apple Store, both had to refresh. Good phone app. Oh, both had to refresh. So basically everything that the iPhone 10 refreshes, SE refreshes as well. App Store, whoa, whoa, whoa. iPhone 10 refreshed this one and SE didn't. That, that's, that's, that's actually disappointing. Videos, whoa. SE didn't refresh, Tender did, with one extra gig frame. Wow, that's a fail. All right, so floor is lava. Okay, but I'm really surprised. Next up, guys, Rush, and both did a great job. All right, next up, Google Earth, and yeah. I don't know why the iPhone 10 did, did actually refresh some of the apps there. So let's go for uh, pretty much it, I think. That's right. Yeah, we did right this top this one. So yeah, guys, the iPhone 10 uh, actually refreshed. So the iPhone SE basically wins the RAM management test with one gigabyte RAM less, less pixels though. But it's disappointing. Right, guys, now time for a two two benchmark test here. See how both perform and let's go. I always get to speed it up. All right, guys, this is the lowest score I ever got on the iPhone 10 for some reason. I don't know why. CPU did poorly there, UX as well. So CPU and UX scores dropped 3D as well. Usually 3D is 80,000, this time 72,000. UX should be 60,000, and now it's just 45, 46. CPU used to be 50 or something, and now it's 38. So there's a major drop when it comes to everything on the iPhone, iPhone uh, 10. Um, 3D on the iPhone SE is actually really good. I mean, better than a lot of other devices I test. Better than CPUs. Actually, the CPU outperformed the iPhone 10. I don't know what's with the iPhone 10 in this test. Uh, RAM on the iPhone SE did really score low, but it's fine. UX add neck and neck with the iPhone 10. Okay, but I'm shocked with the CPU. How can an A9 chip outperform an A11 chip? There's something with the iPhone 10. All right, guys. So for some reason, iPhone 10. It gets low scores here, but just to show you guys the specs. 
um, both running 11.2. This has a A9 chip. This has a 11 Bionic chip. G A11 GPU, or this has the Power VR series. So this one this is one of the phones that have in-house Apple GPU. Both have 12 megapixels. This one has dual lens, 12 megapixel camera, as I mentioned. Hexa core processor, dual core processor, 1,840 megahertz, 1.84. 2.74 here it says, usually, but on the Geekbench it says 2.4, 2.39, so that's everything guys. The weight, everything is included, so this one is way lighter of course. This is 60 grams heavier, that's a lot. You definitely feel a difference. And yeah, dimensions and everything. So 5.8 inch, pixels 436 to 926, there is a difference, both record 4K. 1.2 megapixel front facing camera where this has 7 megapixels so this one has Bluetooth 5.0 where this has 4.2 so hope you guys like the video subscribe for more content and peace out